I met a brother the other day, and he was trying to convince me that the collection of hadith is not solid and that we have to focus on the Qur'an and nothing but the Qur'an. And so I said to him, Akhi, what are you talking about? Hey, the collection of the hadith had many flaws, this and that. It's obvious that this guy doesn't have proper knowledge, structural knowledge. So I, I didn't want to go into details because that would have taken the whole afternoon. And I asked him one simple question, which was a true, really cold shower. I could see it in his eyes. I said, Akhi, with all due respect, for the past 15 centuries, from the time of the Prophet till date, show me one single scholar, real scholar, who said what you have said. That don't rely on the, Quran, uh, the hadith, only rely on the Quran. And the guy was in shock and awe. Uh, he, he, he couldn't speak. He had paused and started to stutter. I said, Akhi, if all these great scholars of Islam over the past 1500 years managed to live with the fact that the Quran is explained, completed, and commented upon by the Sunnah of the Prophet, which is also preserved by Allah Azza wa Jal, like the Quran was preserved, can't you be like them? Wouldn't that fit you as it fit, fitted them? And this is what we have to always consider, that don't follow what is weak or fabricated. Don't follow dubious scholars who want fame and glory and who are not known to be real scholars. Follow those who follow the Quran and the Sunnah, the authentic Sunnah, with the understanding of the Salaf.